and your attention is focused on the word. Therefore, in all of our getting, we need to get an understanding. And our mind is a terrible thing to, to bring in distression, a terrible thing not to use. And so we're dealing with the battle is won in the mind, never physically, never won in the flesh. Because nothing that we do is just the flesh. It has to be programmed in the mind. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 through verse 2, the Life Application Bible said, And so, dear brothers, I plead with you to give your bodies to God. Let them be a living sacrifice, holy, the kind he can accept when you think of what he has done for you. Is this too much to ask? Verse 2, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world but be a new and different person with a fresh root renewing in all you do and think. Then you will learn from your own experience how his ways will realize satisfaction to you, will really bring satisfaction to you. Now, when sacrifice, according to God's word and God's law, a priest would kill the animal, cut it into pieces, and place it on the altar. Sacrifice was important, but even in the Old Testament, God made it clear that obedience was better than sacrifice. Yes. Obedience was better than sacrifice. Yes. He said to Samuel to tell Saul, in the Life Application Bible, he said to him, uh, Samuel replied, have the Lord much pleasure in your burnt offerings and sacrifice as in your obedience. Obedience is far better than sacrifice. He is much more interested in your listening to him than your offering the fat of rams. And so we, if we, we can, you know, come and give God this and that, but if we're not obedient, if we're not obedient, then sacrifice do not take the place of obedient. As Sister uh, uh, Mason was saying, or Sister Hain was saying, she was saying that she thought she could do it her way. But it wasn't until she fell and got in line with God's word and God have a way of breaking us down. He'll break us down until we fall in line or fall out. So we have to understand then that our sacrifice is not what God wants all the time. He wants your obedience. In Psalm 40 and 6, it says, it isn't sacrifice and offering which you really want from your people. Burnt animals bring no special joy to your heart, but you have accepted the offerings of my life long service. That's what God wants. He wants our life long service. He wants us to obey him and obey his words. Yes. Amos write about this, and Amos uh, 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 5 and 21 said, I hate, I hate your show and pretense, your hypocrisy of honoring me, with your religious feasts and Sodom assemblies. I will not accept your burnt offerings and thanks offering. I will not look at your offerings of peace. Away with your hymns of praise. They are more, they are mere noise to my ears. I will not listen to your music, no matter how lovely it is. I want to see a mighty flood of justice and tolerance of doing good. I want to see you doing good. I want to see you doing what's right. I want to see you doing what's right. Now, what is God saying? He is saying he only wants what is best for us because he gave his son to make our new life possible. We should joyfully give ourselves as living sacrifice for God because God gave his son. Now, Christians are called not to conform to the world with its behavior and customs that are usually selfish and corrupt. We're not to conform to the world. That's why we can't do everything the world do. We can't do everything they do. We have to remember one thing that I thank God for, that, that, that our, our parents were rigid, but they did teach us respect. 
No child could say uh, to call a, gra a grown person by their first name. Do I have a witness? Amen. They was Mr. or Miss. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You don't even hardly hear that now. They'll just say yes. They don't even say ma'am, sir, whatever. Yes, no, yes, no. Yeah. 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 All of those things. We, you know, our parents taught us that. And then if you look at it, I think sometimes we don't understand how we're allowing the world to take away just what God has given us. Now, they try to make it look real bad. Now, I am not in favor and I'm not justifying the man that knocked his wife out. I think that was wrong. But now they're going to demand to whip this child with a switch and they talking about her in a tree. Now to me that's, that's taking it too far. That's taking it too far because they want to take correction out of your hand. Now I'm not saying putting whips and stuff on a cow but they want to take correction out of your hand and make it look like that you tried to kill a person with a switch and the switch is all we had. And it didn't kill us. They got something. They got a piece of log. Then if that's a switch, that's a log that they have. They have a, they have a club in their hand to beat you down. There's, a, there's something. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? We got to understand this is a mind thing. And the mind thing is to take all the authority from parent and only let the government have the authority. Thank you, Lord. 